Hello guys, welcome to the channel. It's Rad and uh, <clears throat> welcome to Radko Tarot. This is going to be a weekly tarot reading for Aries' uh, Sun, Aries' Moon and Aries' Rising, March 11th to March 17, 2019. I'm going to use the traditional Reader White Tarot deck once again, the radiant version of it. And uh, now I'm shuffling uh, the cards. I want to remind you once again, that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for Aries, the star sign. And for that reason, uh, <clears throat> this general reading will resonate in a different way and uh, in a different level with uh, every single different Aries. So for that reason, uh, in this video, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But at the end, you will have to um, align this uh, general reading with your uh, personal situation for to make it more personal. Now, um, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you a prediction for it, uh, for the future, that is a subject of a private reading and for such, for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And on the very first page there, you can find all of my services and as well their pricings. So <clears throat> that set aside, going to the first card for Aries, that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles, which is the very topic of Aries this week, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the topic itself or what you should not do throughout the week. This is the Two of Cups. Followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation or what you should do regarding the um, <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. This is going to be the Devil card. And the last one, which is the outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. So once again, Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Cups. Then it is the Devil card and the last one that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to place the cards now on my table. And uh, just from the overview, uh, Aries is really this, this week does look like more like um, <clears throat> a professional week than the, um, than the romantic one with romantic involvement. Now, this is uh, due to the Two of Cups falling into a, a negative approach or a negative position. And for those who are searching Romans in this kind of stuff, uh, this reading will reflect only a, uh, a friends with benefits type of a situation, even though it does kind of like advise you not to do it. All right. So you may have the opportunity to do so. However, the reading itself advises you not to do so. <clears throat> But on the um, career side of the spectrum, uh, this reading looks a very, very potent and positive. It does uh, present a helping hand coming around and as well, kind of like uh, if capitalized correctly, it's going to present you with severe breakthrough upon a, a certain matters project or establishing private businesses. It does depend uh, what kind of goal you do have for yourself career-wise, Aries is. <clears throat> so going to the first card, which is the Knights of Pentacles here, that is the topic. So a person it is what we do have, someone who is very determined and someone who very well knows what they want, a person who can nurture things, all right? So a person who knows how to place their value and what the value, where the value lies. <clears throat> so uh, this person always uh, kind of like, how can I place it, supports his actions or her actions with a big determination behind, very uh, tenacious and very, I could say even stubborn, always keeps the things simple and always moves along according to a certain plan. Also, the card does, um, could express something a bit different here. And that is if you're feeling of a burden and kind of like that you don't have any more vital energies. The very topic here stays that you got to <clears throat> kind of like take some time among nature, hiking maybe, or just, 
you know, going on a vacation somewhere in the, I can't say the wasteland really, but a place there are many, minimum as, as less people as possible. The accompanied car, this is going to be the lovers here and only <clears throat> and we do have another confirmation that this is not going to be a romantic involvement because these cards, the formation of these cards is passive enemies. So we do have an air card with an earth card, elemental dignities, earth and air are enemies. <clears throat> so what happens is that this person does not care how you feel, they don't care how uncomfortable it is to you, they don't care what kind of issues you do have in the peripheral uh, fields, meaning outside of the endeavor that you are going to co-op with that guy. <clears throat> so just to give you an example here, that is someone who you have to, uh, whom you have to work with upon a certain project, but in the same time, you may have a certain difficulties into your um, relationship outside. He does not care, all right? He wants you there to fulfill your part in the uh, in the project itself and should you do so then the project is going to be successful because as i said this person knows how to make things it's a, it's a little bit slow but it, on another on another hand it's quite meticulous and as well his actions once again are supported with big determination now, with the lover's card, it doesn't look like as well that there will be huge harmony in between you and him, all right? So it could be a, a standpoint where you are quite aggravated by his behavior, you know, by his demands or her demands for that matter. <clears throat> and all in all, uh, with these cards, there could be some points of conflict in between you and him due to the fact that they will want to uh, kind of like, let's say, execute things in a different fashion than the, th than the execution you prefer to do into your endeavors. Uh, once again, most likely career oriented. It could be as well something that involves your social circle. So a person from your social circle wants to execute an enterprise, which is um, in the grand scheme of thing, a value, uh, um, a valuable or, or a thing of value for uh, for the entirety of the social circle, but the the process is going to be a point of conflict because you will want to do it one way, they will want to do it another, and all comes to that. Can you find a, a common ground here to cooperate? It's very important to cooperate with this person. We are going to see why in a minute. So the second card, which is how you should not. Um, approach the guy or the girl two of cups sharing things from your personal uh, from your personal environment like we said or like i said according to the cards this person does not care how you feel they do not care how comfortable you are in working with them you know they don't care what you have to say all comes to that what results are going to be bred after you know the the endeavor is let's say you proceed with the endeavor that you cooperate with them, <clears throat> okay? Uh, two of cups as well does involve uh, luck in this, um, in this case, well, it, it does not involve lack of harmony, but it does says that you should not try to achieve 100% harmony with them because th this is just going to be beyond one's, um, capabilities and even if you do so it's just going to cost you more than you actually know the accompanied card here this is going to be the queen of swords so what we form the formation is passive neutrals and basically you have to be very assertive and you need to be emancipating as well so meaning that you should catch up with his methods or with or with her methods if you don't want to struggle with the lack of harmony in between um, in between you and that person, so uh, the more the queen of the, the stronger the queen of swords is, the um, the weaker the two of cups is. And during the reading follow up or the layout of the reading, your aim or our aim is to negate the effect of two of cups. So being assertive and emancipating, recognizing that the methods of this person truly can push things through, are going to. Uh, are going to bring results and as a matter of fact when we talk about this uh, take it that way guys you are going to work 
to make money, right? Not to make friends, not to be liked by others. You're just going there to make money. So this is what that person does. He doesn't care do you like them or not. He doesn't care or she doesn't care if you are feeling despondent from the whole cooperation because probably they are doing the same thing. All that they care is can the thing be pushed through and it can, it is just, it will require completely professional interaction in between you and them and nothing more. Additionally to that, having the Queen of Swords here, should you have any health issue, uh, kind of like feeling uh, a little bit uh, with a lack of predisposition and so on and so forth, uh, this card here, it's a very positive sign that maybe uh, you will have to go through a treatment that you are not gonna like very much but in the same time should you go through it as that exactly as the treatment is, is presented it's going to breed results so <clears throat> going to the third card now which is uh, the positive aspect or rather like how you should approach the situation well the, the devil card points that you just start cooperating with this guy or a girl, it does not really matter, we're talking about person, you're going to start obtaining, let's say, power. It's kind of like uh, being uncontrollable and very, um, what was the word here? Well, I will say it that way you will start being able to push your things through and to materialize the project that you're working upon or the endeavor into your social circle that everybody wants. The thing is with the devil card, the more you cooperate with this person, the more synergy will start kind of like exerting in the, uh, in the cooperation itself. So only the start from this card, only the start, the, the very start of the cooperation is going to be... Um, <clears throat> is going to be difficult afterwards the result themselves the the fact that you will be able to provoke those faithful circumstances allowing you you know to be successful into your business to be successful into your uh, into your social circle and so on and so forth is are going to truly diminish the lack of synergy or the lack of harm not synergy but harmony excuse me that you do have in between you and this person going along with your career or with uh, with your social circle however the devil card here points to completely materialized pact okay so Oh, that you should care when it comes to cooperation with the Knights of Pentacles is how beneficial you're going to walk away from that agenda or from that enterprise instead of, you know, how emotionally rich you're going to walk, uh, walk away from. Uh, now, the thing that comes to my mind, um, I'm not saying that everybody should do it, but... Um, this situation also looks like uh, the same kind of a situation where someone wants to kind of like evaluate them themselves into the hierarchy, into one career. And uh, in order to do so, they start sleeping with their boss. It is kind of the same thing. But if that's, uh, that's your case, uh, I'm not saying that you have to sleep with your boss, but you, if your boss likes you, likes you, you may expect that they could approach you with a similar proposition throughout the week, just so you know, okay? Because uh, the point is here in this reading, guys, Aries is, is that this person is going to give you the means to evaluate yourself. But these means are not going to be harmonious with your expectations. That is the point. And like I said, they don't care how you feel. They don't care how... Um, you know, they don't care uh, how you're going to take it. They don't care what kind of opinion you have about it. They, it's just, you know, should you want to move on and should you want to progress, at least at this week, that is the way you do it, by, com uh, by complying to their rules and to uh, their approach toward the situation. So the accompanied card here, this is going to be the uh, Ten of Pentacles and what we form, what these cards are, forming as a formation. This is a passive supporters. So 
the more you start exerting this power that that guy gives you through the cooperation that you're going to do with them, the more independent you're going to become. So that's kind of like further consolidates on this thesis here that that could be your boss, you know, coming around, having a, a, a like a, a chemistry with you and proposing you to, you know, sleep together or kind of like making you aware that they want to sleep with you. So when you start doing so, you will start obtaining more power over your colleagues and over your situation into your career. You will start becoming more independent, not from your boss, not from this guy, all right? Not from that person because he's the topic, but from the rest, all right? So you will start becoming more independent from the rest. Not to mention that with the 10 of pentacles, you will start obtaining more um, means that, are kind of like forbidden from others. So like forbidden fruits, let's say. And also doing so, uh, these cards as well are pointing that you could prove those doubted you before that actually, you know, they have been wrong with their assessment about you. So they should have not been doubting in you and your capabilities. Once again, this was just an, an example with, you know, your boss coming around and, uh, you know, asking you to sleep with them and so on and so forth. Should you want a, a fast improvement into your career, but still it is a, a possibility. Like I said, just an example that these cards as well could be that, <clears throat> you know, that, that person is going to ask you to do things uh, against your beliefs, against your code of conduct, which has nothing to do with being illegal once again. But, you know, you may not find them very, I could say, polite and fair, but in the same time doing them so, you will start obtaining more personal independence there and uh, you are to show to those who doubted you until this very moment that... Um, Simply, you are you. You can't do what is needed in order to push your things through with the cooperation of the Knight of Pentacles. And last but not least, what we have for you, Aries, is this is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. So that is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot. So uh, the whole cooperation with this person is going to lead you to a point where you're going to be forewarned for a, a very uh, it's important event that it is um, lurking around the corner. So it's kind of like an a information that you're going to have before others are going to have. Therefore, you're going to be forewarned and you're going to be forewarned. Adi uh, forewarned, therefore, you're going to be forewarned. Um, for armed. Additionally, uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you are going to be redirected or you are going to redirect yourself to a field's projects, you know, and those kind of activities which you are feeling comfortable at and as well, which it is uh, the, the chance of experiencing failure, failure it's to minimum. And I'm sorry that I'm going to give you this example once again, sleeping with your boss, but we should one start sleeping with their boss. It's obvious, it's obvious that their boss are going to give them just, you know, the easiest projects out there or the projects which are uh, kind of like, let's say a piece of cake and as well, their boss is going to have their back. So additional confirmation that that could happen. All right. Your boss coming around and display that they does have intimate intentions towards you. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, should you cooperate with this person that you don't, that you lack harmony with in the very uh, humanitarian level, but on a professional level, actually you can push things through with them. You are going to see that your investments in that case, money, time, efforts, and so on and so forth have worth it. And uh, on top of that, with the Seven of Pentacles, uh, somewhere along the week, it does look like is that this person is going to uh, traverse your opinion and your intentions on a 180 degrees, making you seeing that a, uh, how can I place it? Making you seeing that something you wanted to do or something you wanted to execute would have been a failure. So that will save you from wasting resources 
I, like I said, either time, performance or money into an, an endeavor and instead of, you know, throwing yourself into it, waiting for the right moment to come, which right moment is going to be a uh, kind of like you are going to become aware where the, when the right moment is to come. The additional card here, this is going to be the Page of Swords. So we form a passive enemies in this, uh, in, in this case. And basically uh, what the, the shade that this card adds to the seven of, uh, to the seven of pentacles is that you are to, um, to understand following this person example and cooperating with them is that there is only one way that you can be successful and that you can do those things that you're trying to do at the start of the week, which is, uh, as my computer here say, 11th of, um, <clears throat> 11th of March. So uh, all comes to that fitting into a, a particular plan and uh, following the meticulous steps that this, uh, that this guy or a girl, Knight of Pentacles, have for the, uh, has or has, excuse me, for the endeavor that lies ahead. Um, and at the end, seeing that actually going out of your way, original way, and sticking to the plan that they have and sticking to the, um, to the maneuvers that's, uh, that they have figured out for the whole endeavor actually pays out and uh, making you, you know, one step and even a couple of steps ahead from, um, from your competition. That is completely as well career uh, related. Uh, but should we talk about um, romantic involvement and relationship, uh, these cards really looks like a, a friends with benefits type of thing that you can start throughout the week. Or it could be as well, you know, someone that it is higher in the hierarchy of the company that you're working at this place that they do have romantic intentions towards you. And should you in invest in it, that will open you additional doors. Of course, you may decide not to, you know, not to give them a card blanche, okay, and not to involve yourself into such um, surreptitious schemes, nefarious things, or so on and so forth. It is entirely up to your uh, preferences and your decisions. So that being said, there is this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for you guys. And uh, to make it more personal, you have to align the whole reading with your personal situation to see which variation that I displayed here in the example fits best with your personal situation. However, if you want more personal touch, meaning uh, your real personal situation to be analyzed by me using tarot cards and to give you prediction for the future what is to happen should you continue the same way or if you do have you know something else in your mind how things are going to develop and so on and so forth that is a matter of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there on the very first page you're going to see uh, all services I'm providing for private readings um, as well with their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you around. Bye.